Hello, Brick Tipster here. Welcome back to number two of my CMF display case video playlist here. So I just wanted to just talk about quickly how I display my CMFs. Uh, if you watched any of the previous videos, this will be a little repetitive information, but I'll blaze through it. Basically, I decided to not have my CMFs just out on those little black display plates that are given with the characters, but to get them displayed in a case um, for reason of making sure that dust does not interfere with my collection. Uh, nobody likes dust in their collection and so I just felt like a display case would be the best route. This is an, this is a Ninjago display case. That is why there's bamboo, bamboo in the background um, and it's a sand green color. The other colors that LEGO was offering at the time and that I still believe they still do are that bright blue and the bright red. I felt like those colors were a little distracting away from the collectible minifigures, so I decided to go with the sand green. I bought several of them so I wouldn't have to buy from third-party sellers, um, but this is just an option for you. They still have those individual uh, ones, the individual uh, cases that you can put one minifigure per um, kind of just, you know, per section that they have right there. But I just really enjoyed the freedom of being able to display multiple CMFs um, in a way that I'd like to and be able to not be just confined to that little tiny area to put the CMF, um, not having to worry about spears not fitting and all those other kind of things that um, you would kind of expect for those little kind of small areas. Uh, but it just all depends on how you want to display them. Again, as a Brick Tipster channel, I wanted just to be able to give you guys tips on how I display my minifigures and as well as, you know, just show you some fun minifigures that are out there. Um, like for instance, this guy, he's definitely having a very bad day. I love that there are signatures on his cast. I think that is just super cool. And um, all these minifigures uh, I did feel in the bags. Um, those are the bags that you'll kind of find out if you're like checking out at Target, those little tiny bags. Um, you can kind of feel for them if you'd like, uh, if you want to stand there and feel for them, or you can just buy them and hope that you don't get repeats. If there are any repeats, um, they're on purpose. I typically always do feel all the bags that I have. Um, if I have repeats, it's because I want to have repeats, kind of like with the Egyptians here. We have uh, three of the kind of like guards. I, I felt like it was just good to have, you know, multiple guards. Um, same thing with the Romans. I thought these were very cool uh, shields and everything. And I felt like um, they need to have two. And then of course, here's the uh, goddess and then the flying warriors in the back. I just felt like uh, she needed to have uh, more than just one to accompany her. So um, that is this video. Uh, feel free to check out uh, more of them. Uh, feel free subscribing so that you see more of these uh, display case um, videos here. Um, and please like the video if you enjoyed it. We'll have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.